You low key look like one of my cousin's best friend's baby daddy. It's <laughs> what? That's a long huh? All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Come on a little closer. Come on and don't be scared. <laughs> What's your name? My name is. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So unless you have been living under a rock, then you are well aware of the popular dating show here on YouTube. It's called Pop the Balloon or Find Love. It's hosted by Arlette. I always see clips all over social media and I know that this is different from what I usually talk about on my channel, but I wanted to react to some of the clips that I've been seeing because Lord, I don't, I don't even know what to say anymore. I feel like women always complain about like the dating pool being trashy and it's full of like men who want to be treated like women and you know, just bad negative comments about the dating pool, which are true in most cases. But when you see social experiments like these about dating sometimes we are the reason why we're single because there's no way like there's absolutely no way so in this video i'm specifically reacting to this specific episode this is the latest episode on her channel i think this is episode 24 but yeah let's get into it let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy hello welcome in what's your name my name is brian brian how old are you 33 and what do you do? I'm an operations supervisor for a major corporation. Also, I act and model as well. Okay, nice. Uh, what are some things I could do for fun? Uh, for fun, uh, basketball. I like to exercise, uh, travel. So why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, it was just a physical attraction thing. You're dressed very nice, by the way, but just a physical attraction. Thank you. Okay, for is sure. there something specific? Um, probably, I like my men a little bit taller. Um, other than that, I don't mean, I don't want to get too. I am so confused right now. She's complaining about his height when he's very much, very visibly taller than her. Like she's looking up at him to talk to him. So I'm confused um, by what she I means by she wants somebody who's taller. Fit, like, like you seem like a great man, a great person. I loved your, just everything you said. But yeah, that was it. Okay. What's wrong with the fit? Um, I say like the shoes. I don't like the shoes and the shirt. I don't like, yeah. Now, is she someone that's your type? You popped the balloon because of his fit. I thought this was a dating show. Like, <laughs> I mean, if you don't like what someone is wearing, like he can change his clothes. You know what I mean? Like, I thought this was a dating show. Like, I thought you are trying to see if you're compatible with someone, if you align with that person, if their personality matches what you're looking for. Like, what's wrong with the fit? Um, I say, like, the shoes. I don't like the shoes. And the shirt. I don't like, yeah. Okay. One right here, if we can start off with your name and age. My name is Tiffany, and I'm 26 years old. And Tiffany, what do you do? I'm an exotic dancer, but I use my exotic dancer funds to invest in my business ventures. I have a podcast. Um, I sell rolling trays and, you know, custom rolling tray sets. And I also sell lashes. Okay, cool. And so why did you end up popping your balloon? He's handsome. It's just like he's not giving, like, you know, the vibe is not giving, like, I could just melt in his arms, like, be protected. He's not giving me, like, the masculine, you know, what I'm looking for. I'm okay. Like, Okay. That. Um, it's also the height for me. Oh, okay. But you are very handsome. And I like your style. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. How tall are you? Because he looks like he's towering over you. Say he's six feet. So she's five foot one and she's telling someone who's six feet tall that he's not tall enough. Make that make sense. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Welcome in. No, I'm sorry. They did this guy dirty. Oh my goodness. These girls didn't even wait for the guy to get a word out. Like, honestly, I just think that popping your balloon before someone even says their name, before someone even introduces themselves, like that just says a lot. Like you could have at least waited for him to grab the microphone, introduce himself, you know, let you know what he's looking for and what his deal breakers are before you gauge whether or not you're going to pop your balloon or not. Like I understand the whole physical attraction. Of, uh, I, I, uh, 
I understand the whole physical attraction thing, which is a really big thing. But like, oh my goodness, they didn't even wait for the guy to say anything. And they just popped their balloon like, yo, I would be so embarrassed to if, if that was me. Like, I would have just gone back. I no with the kids but yeah it was just a hype yeah mm -hmm. and how tall are you i'm 5 11. my name is d i'm 27. i popped my balloon because you kind of look like my cousin i'm I so it. sorry i don't want to date my cousin either. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you know but I mean? you look good you're gorgeous too <laughs> thank you thank you. Well, you ended up popping your balloon my name is carrington mm -hmm. i'm 26. um i popped because of the outfit i mean mm -hmm. you are yeah extremely yes so i need to go back there and yeah change. honestly <laughs> like i'm so sorry the outfit threw me man i don't know right. it's can you help the, me out what's wrong with the like outfit? the combination wrong nothing's it? wrong with the combination I'm i don't blind, like how it fits I'm i think it's just the way that he's built like he's obviously bigger up top so he has broader shoulders bigger chest and then his legs are really small so it makes him appear shorter but you can tell that he is taller than most of the women i mean he said he's six foot tall so i think it was just off initial attraction um and maybe the outfit a little bit i don't think i would have put those shoes with those pants but yeah i think that's it so what shoes would you put with the pants <laughs> um so which one would you rather have the shoes or the pants renee i'm 25 and i pop because um Especially the height. I like my men a little taller than me. So. Okay. Taller than me completely. What? And we did get a pop back here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Kamina. I'm 27. It's just that you low key look like one of my cousin's best friend's baby daddy. It's what? That's a long list. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> kind of look about yeah i tried holding on but it was just no <laughs> i'm sorry but that is such a corny excuse like i don't like this group of women this group of women are very annoying like he looks like someone you know he looks like your best friends ex boyfriends cousins aunties baby fathers uncle like make it make sense if you're the type of woman who doesn't want to date somebody because they remind you of someone let me know in the comments because i don't i don't understand that specific logic like so all his good values his traits his personality whether or not you guys are compatible like i was saying before that wasn't a consideration for you like you just dismissed him off of the fact that he looks like someone you know no i think the man should take majority of the bills like take a majority of the work but i mean if a woman wants to you know work and continue to you know have income for herself as well nothing wrong with that but i just feel like you know a man should take majority of the work you know okay oh all right why did we end up popping i feel like if you would have been like um both incomes and like we build together and like that kind of thing then how do you pop the balloon because this man said that he wants to take on the bulk of like financial responsibility I'm, I told you, this group of women, I feel like they are so confused. I Honestly, like, I'm annoyed at this point. I'm annoyed. Final questions between the two of you. Yes. Where are you currently? Like, where do you live? I'm currently in Las Vegas. Okay. So long distance is a no for you. Where are you? I'm in Detroit, Michigan. Oh, Detroit. Okay. That's lovely. Okay, let me get <laughs> something straight, right? So this show is being hosted in Arizona. Correct me if I'm wrong. He lives in Las Vegas, you live in Detroit, and you can't do long distance. You flew long distance to pop a balloon, but you can't date someone long distance if you guys are compatible. When I say this group of women are so confused, I'm Robert, my name is Robert Mayberry. And how old are you? I'm 29 years old. And what do you do? that was so rude like the way she popped her balloon the way she threw it up in the air and popped it in front of that guy's face that was so rude and there's absolutely nothing wrong with this guy like physically like based off of physical attraction i guess everybody has their preferences you're entitled to it but he looks very put together he looks clean he looks well groomed he doesn't look a mess his clothes are put like you could tell that like, he put in effort i don't oh god let's start okay. with over here your name and age and why you ended up popping 
I'm Ish, I'm 28, and you have a very handsome face. Um, bald is not really my thing. I think Man, we're, I can't even control it. I, I know, and I'm, <laughs> I don't mean to say it like that. It's just, I feel like maybe if we were 40s and like you were bald, then it would be like different, but we're like really young. I know, I know. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it. And then I don't want to be mean, but I just don't really like how you talk. Oh, okay. All right. Oh my God, really? The way he talks? There is absolutely nothing wrong with the way that this man talks. He's very articulate. He puts his point across very nicely. He obviously comes off very intelligent. He knows what he's want. He knows what he wants. Like, what does that even mean? I have a feeling that, honestly, at this point, I have a feeling that the host was really annoyed with these women because if me watching it, I'm annoyed. I can't even imagine how she must have felt hosting this show and being around this type of energy because, oh, these ladies, they are so insufferable. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? I'm Kendall. Kendall? Yes. And Kendall, how old are you? 28. And what do you do? I'm a personal trainer and I have my own coaching business. Okay, very cool. Uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, fun? Uh, I'm big on activities. I love to, you know, bowling, golfing. I like a good ambiance, a nice bar, live music. Okay. Type of thing, you know? Nice. Now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Um, I would say a woman with good presentation, you know, nurturing energy, uh, ambition. Um, uh, and, um, <laughs> like, I've gotten to my wit's end. I'm sorry. Like, yeah. Thank you. Let's go out over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, my name is Kamina. I'm 27. And I popped my balloon. You're not ugly. It is the haircut for sure okay. because, ugh, long story, somebody that I dealt with had that same haircut. It's okay. just PTSD. I'm sorry, but I'm so annoyed with this particular girl right here. The girl with the bangs, whatever her name is, all black. First of all, you said that the other guy reminded you of your ex best friends, baby daddies, cousins, aunties, nieces, nephews. And then now this guy's haircut reminds you of, this girl is not here to find anybody compatible. Okay, wait, um, one of them haircuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. But um, the outfit's nice, you know, I like the jeans. Okay, you know, yeah, just, just, just some casual, yeah, just give it some giving, casual. Yeah. And the little bracelets, okay, you came, you know. Uh, so, but um, yeah, no, but other than that, you're very handsome. It's just, Okay. No. If you say a guy isn't ugly and you like the way he dresses and the way that he presents himself and it's just his haircut, like he can change his haircut. You know what I mean? So using that as an excuse to pop your balloon and say you're not compatible, that's just, I don't know. I don't know what she's here for. I don't know what she's looking for, but that's just a corny, corny, corny thing to say. Is that from PTSD? Uh, yeah, PTSD right. haircut. Yeah. <laughs> He can change his haircut. So here's my take on all of this, especially this episode in particular. Very disappointing lineup. Very disappointing lineup of women. I feel like this group of men deserve to come back to the show with a completely different lineup of women because these women were extremely annoying and they didn't even give them enough time to like, to even introduce themselves. They just popped their balloon based off of superficial reasons. You don't like his haircut. He reminds you of somebody that you dated 30 years ago. He looked like your cousins nephews it was just very surface level baseless things that made absolutely no sense and as a viewer like i said i was completely annoyed just watching this whole episode and i can't even imagine how the host must have felt just being here and here's the thing about women i feel like as women we shift the goalposts when it comes to men that we actually like like when we meet a guy and we find him physically attractive we're willing to put up with a lot of bullshit and that was pretty evident in this entire video that was evident in this entire episode you say you want a guy who's six feet tall you see a guy who's six feet tall but he's not tall enough then you say you want a guy who's handsome but you don't like his teeth or the fact that he gets his eyebrows done and then his haircut reminds you of your ex's haircut you want a guy who's well dressed but his shoes are dirty his jeans are too tight you didn't like the way he was breathing when he came around you dating should be logical and intentional and based off of like shared values and shared interests and compatibility but when you make it about surface level things like haircuts and how tight his jeans are and no like if i'm compatible with someone i will help you elevate in the areas that i feel like you could work on like 
we can go get new jeans. We can get you a new haircut. We can buy you new clothes. You know what I'm saying? Like those things that can be changed can be changed but to completely disregard somebody because you didn't like their haircut or that the fact that their jeans were too tight I, I don't understand it I really don't understand it this show literally just proved why a lot of women are actually single like we have such superficial standards and yeah a lot of these women are going to be single for literally the rest of their lives